for the last card, actually, this is my most favorite card. I thought the last card was going to be my favorite, but this is actually my favorite card. First off, we're using a new color Star Dream paper. It is like this bright yellow, just almost like a neon gold. It is so beautiful. I love it. So that was really fun. And then this background here was done where we used the reverse piece. So the cut out the sheet of paper where I cut out these leaves and little sprigs from that left this shape in the paper. And so I laid that on this paper and I use it as a stencil. Then I did two colors of spray oxide ink, squeezed lemonade and rustic wilderness. And then I did a splatter of gold mica watercolors. When I was done with that, I ran the whole thing under, um, with the well through clear embossing powder and heat set it so that's why you kind of get this glossy kind of look on it but the colors are beautiful and vibrant and i love the little pop of gold in there too because it really ties in with the gold paper so just a beautiful card all around super happy with all right so what we're going to do very first off is we're going to actually um we're going to put double-sided tape on the back side of this on all four sides and I am doing all four sides because the paper might be a tiny bit warped because we had to heat set it, so I'm just letting you know that. Okay, this is where it's gonna be a little bit tricky. This is your ribbon here, and we're gonna stick a small piece, just the very edge of the ribbon down here, and then the other side of it, we're gonna stick about the same width of the width or the same distance of the way up. So then you have that on the other side. So there's about, I would say maybe a little over half an inch on the bottom there. So this is what we have at the moment. I know it's weird, but work with me here. Then we're gonna take the gold and we're gonna mount this onto the gold paper here, okay? So you're gonna get about that nice 16th of an inch border on all four sides. Woo, mine's not perfectly straight, but you know what, we're going with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put double-sided tape on the back side of this. I'm just gonna do a couple sides, but you can do all four sides if you wanted. Again, we still have this weird loopy ribbon thing. Again, just work with me here, trust me. And we're gonna mount this on the front of our green card. I love this color palette, this gold and this green together. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna find the middle of our ribbon, okay? And we're gonna go slightly to the right of that and we're gonna trim. Now, we're going to use that and tie a little bow. And the reason why we have one side a little bit short and one side a little bit long is because we're gonna tie the ribbon on this far right side. And on the side where we're tying the ribbon, that part of the ribbon can be, a, that part of the little ribbon end can be, the ribbon tail rather, can be a little bit shorter. So that's why I decided to not cut it in the middle. Okay. And then you can trim the little tails. And there we have our cute little ribbon on the front. Originally, I wanted to put this happy birthday sentiment right on the front of the card, but then I realized it really hid a lot of that beautiful foliage um, and design that I created. So I decided to leave that on the front, and then this happy birthday is gonna go on the inside of the card. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that down. And right just in the middle there. And then we're gonna tape, we're gonna apply our little foliage pieces. This time we're gonna start with the dark green. Put a little bit of um, deluxe adhesive on the back side of this and we're just going to kind of wrap this along the top here it's hanging off the edge of the little hexagon onto the card base itself and we're going to do this little um, dark green sprig which is so fun i love these shapes of these sprigs they're just perfect and this guy's going to kind of hang down here a little bit okay and now we'll go in with the light green just to finish this off And this guy is gonna go at the top and we're gonna kind of hang him over just a little bit so it kind of frames this out just a little bit more and kind of draws your eye to the focal point. And then finally, we'll put on this little cute little green sprig. And this guy is gonna kind of hang up around the side here, okay? So then that's a nice kind of framing of our little sentiment. All right, and there we have today's cards. Hope you guys had lots of fun and I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the cards as much as I did because I love how they turned out. Oh, it just makes me so happy. I love when things come together the way I want. See you guys later. Bye-bye.